All right, so here we go. Yes, we got some excellent news today about Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. And also, Saber is working on a very cool feature that I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy once it's finally released. We have not discussed this whatsoever, so we're going to dive into that. Plus, yes, there are some lingering issues going on still. You know, we recently had some maintenance that has not worked out as well as some had hoped. We'll talk about some things that need to be done to smooth that out as well. The actual maintenance process because some feathers were definitely ruffled over that. Also, you're probably wondering, hey, Robbie, how are the cells doing right now for Space Marine 2? Is it hanging in there? Is it still growing? I have some very good news in that regard. And yes, you're using stems completely wrong. Some invaluable advice on this one once you get into higher difficulties. And as always, going over your top comments later in the video. So be sure to leave a comment down below. But let's start out with what the creative director of Saber had to say right here. He says, for those of you who wonder if Saber supports their games long term post launch and he highlights their previous game, World War Z Aftermath, which is receiving yet another new update, a new extinction challenge mode will raise the difficulty bar even higher, they go on to say. So it goes to show if they're willing to update that game, just imagine what they're willing to do for Space Marine 2. From what I understand, Space Marine 2 is by far their best selling game ever. So they're going to give this one some love. I do believe that big time. So yeah, year one battle plan has already been laid out for us, but I am kind of hopeful now that we might get a year two battle plan. At least I'm crossing my fingers. That has not been confirmed, but this really does bode well for the game in the very long term. Now we got a reply here. It says, imagine where Space Marine 2 can go with this amount of support. Hell yes. And the response from our credit director, exactly. So you know, they're eyeballing the future here, the long term for the game. And again, they aren't really talking much about Space Marine 3. They're not going to be developing that one until way, way later down the road. Also, yeah, we have this right here. Good morning, Oliver. Thank you and your team for such a great experience for me. One question for you. Where can one check the stats for Space Marine 2 outside of the game? And here's a surprising response. Good morning and thank you. We're working on that. Focus will announce when there's more info. So it sounds like we're getting some sort of way to really check up on stats and that sort of thing outside of the game. And I think you guys would love that. Like perhaps a companion app type feature would be cool for this sort of game. No confirmation to exactly what this entails, but it would be really neat to mess around with your loadout, customization, that sort of thing from an app. That would be very badass. Also, we have this right here. Hi, Oliver. I really hope the studio will reconsider the stance on FOP slider, at least on PC. For many, it's an accessibility issue, not a feature. I can't play the game without motion sickness due to how narrow the FOV is. Had to refund the game, even though I'm enjoying it. Sad face. That really sucks to hear. And Oliver says this, I hear you. We'll keep considering it internally, and maybe at some point we can address it. I'm really sorry this issue has prevented you from fully enjoying the game. Yeah, you know, uh, when it comes to accessibility and that sort of thing, I really do think they should mull it over a little bit more and perhaps consider having some sort of leeway here. For now, there are at least some variations of mods that you can actually install. I'm thinking that he was on PC, so he's probably missing out on the fact that there are some FOV mods. But we also got to talk about that recent maintenance that did happen. You guys may remember it. And some interesting things came out of this one for sure. So overall, the response has been kind of mixed. It says, didn't fix anything. Actually, game was working way better for me up until yesterday. Server joining bug is still not fixed. Playing on Xbox, and it still seems just as broken as before. And again, it seems like the server issue still persists when trying to join friends or having multiple people in a party trying to join random. So it seems to be a very persistent issue. Let me know how the game is working for you, if this has alleviated any major problems or if it's just the same or even worse. But something interesting came out of this update and it definitely ruffled quite a bit of feathers. Check it out right here. It says, was so damn close to my first substantial win after a major loss to get a purple token I desperately need and this happens. I get it for maintenance, but dear God, I got pissed that it picked it then. And he highlights this clip here where he's in the middle of the action at the end of the mission during the boss battle and boom, maintenance hits and you could see it right here, the connection loss and how gut-wrenching. And it brings up the point right here, dude, what the F? 
Saber, whoever, if you are going to do maintenance, you need to put some sort of banner or warning or something so we at the very least know what we are going to get ourselves into. Really sucks when you're at the last bit of an ops and you are carrying two times armor data plus gen seed and boss is about to die and you just get yeeted out of the game. Also, if connection shenanigans happen and you're offline, you need to figure out how you can consolidate what you've earned next time to go online. These are really frustrating on top of the janky online matchmaking that's happening right now. Love the game, but man, yeah, you know, the maintenance window period needs to be announced in game as a pop up, something that really gets your attention saying, hey, you know what? In the next half hour, there is going to be maintenance. There needs to also be a countdown timer. A lot of games have a countdown timer saying you have 15 minutes, 10 minutes, be warned. So like it might be wise for some players to go, you know what, I'll go instead of doing a big 40 minute PVE mission, I'll play hmm, 10 minutes on PVP and then I'll be fine, you know, but yeah, they need to really give away for players to track what's happening with maintenance going forward, or you're just going to continue ruffling feathers considering, considering that there's also, yes, online connectivity uh, issues already happening. But yeah, we got some big sales updates. This boats very well for the future of the game. Check it out, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 sells could make it the second biggest new game in Europe. It says four years, Space Marine 2 is already the second biggest new game this year. After just two weeks, it's behind Helldivers 2, but ahead of Last of Us 2 Remastered, Dragon's Dogma 2, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, and so on. So yeah, not too shabby whatsoever, but some of you are probably scratching your heads going, Robbie, what about Wukong? You didn't even mention Wukong whatsoever in that list. So it does go on to say this. Dream did mention some caveats though, as the figures from game sales data do not necessarily give a comprehensive picture of the publishing environment in the UK. Now, major titles from smaller publishers aren't always tracked, which is kind of weird. One case in point, game sales data does not track the sales of Black Myth Wukong, which stunned commentators and the public by moving more than 10 million copies in three days, mostly out of China. Adding European sales numbers could boost Wukong or even other virally popular games like Power World, even higher than Space Marine 2 once fuller figures are obtained in analyze. So maybe like Space Marine 2 is sitting at three, number four, you never know, but hell, it is still performing extremely exceptional. And yeah, you can have a sigh of relief if you're wondering again, if they're gonna be supporting this game in the long term because they have very good reason to. They just gotta get the server issues down because that's the one thing that's really hurting the community currently and could be a red flag for people sticking around if they get just super tired of you know issues with logging in waiting around that could weigh down on their spirit you know what i mean and they could just move on so yeah hopefully they can get that nailed down we do have that major patch coming up you know when it comes to that sort of thing so you got to remember that one all right so next up we have this you're using your stims wrong this isn't a conversation about health economy range damage or buffs or nerfs just a quick tip to help people I see popping these out of combat as a standalone hill. Stims recover contested HP. When you take a big whack, instead of flailing blindly to recover contested HP, wait half a second to avoid follow-up hits and stim even on high difficulty. It will basically completely replenish your bar if you were full when you took the hit. In other words, use your stims to recover contested HP from a big hit, not to try and heal your whole bar as a source of primary healing out of combat. I think that's a great tip right there and should be utilized, especially in those higher difficulties. But yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling about that tip or if you have any other advice on how to utilize your stims. I'm kind of curious, folks, to comment down below. But also there's been that big discussion if modding is cheating or not. I really want to know your take on this because it's starting to ruffle some feathers within the community. Check it out right here. It says, keep an eye out for this Kermit guy. He was hacking to use weapons not available to his class in public games and when called out tried to justify it by calling his hacks just mods he is in pve but it's still ruffling feathers and then we have this response though but tactical with sniper looks kind of cool though sniper wall hacks gross i agree this and things like it was pretty cool in a vacuum but doing it in an online lobby and knowing influencing other players gameplay is inherently impacting the experience of playing the game that's why i've told you guys time and time again be very very mindful about how you are using these mods in fact i'd recommend if you're using them to stay offline entirely if you're doing this sort of thing yeah i really do think that this could ultimately 
get you banned, of course, if you are altering the entire experience for others around you. Yeah, I gotta say, if you're gonna use mods, good luck, because I think we might see some announcements about bans and that sort of thing in the future, especially when it comes to anything PvP related, of course, but even still, PvE, people consider that like a sacred thing, you know, in this game. And to mess that up and to mess up kind of like the flow of the gameplay could really be detrimental to other players around you. So yeah. All right, next up it says they better give Bulwark these shoulder pauldrons and the red cape from the campaign soon because they look way too good. Look at that looks absolutely badass. 3,200 upvotes. You guys desperately want to see this. NBC Bulwark gets to have nice colored fabric. PC Bulwark gets filthy tattered burlap sackcloth. Please enjoy. <laughs> Man, we get the scraps. That is not cool. That is some BS. I'm telling you what. And here we go. The top comments. Let's get straight into it. Anyone else want emblems available for both pauldrons? This would especially be important when donning the Death Watch armor and being able to represent your original chapter on the right shoulder, as commonly seen with Death Watch members. Yes, I have thought this as well. Totally agree. I feel like that's sort of limiting with what they're doing with that. 369 upvotes on that one. So a lot of you guys really want to see that. And we have, I don't need a Space Marine 3. Just keep adding story to this masterpiece of a game. And I'm crossing my fingers. That's what they do. Of course, they would probably want to reserve some bigger moments for Space Marine 3. But I say, hell, just keep updating this game. It looks beautiful. If there's a way they can also just graphically update it and fine tune it as well, that would be nice. You know, I recently uh, sat in on my twin bro Ryan playing No Man's Sky and to see how that has changed since 2016 and the update to visuals is just wild. It is very possible to keep one game going for like a decade and keep users coming back. I mean, the amount of support that game has gotten alone is just impressive. So it would be really, really cool if the same could be done with something like Space Marine 2. All right, next up, we have this one right here. I'm loving Space Marines so much that I'm now listening to the Horus Heresy audiobooks to go to sleep. Nice, man. You're making me want to check that out for sure. Maybe I'll do some audiobook listenings of uh, some Warhammer 40k stuff when I'm working out and stuff like that. Now we have as much as I like Space Marine 2, the customization is basically painting your ultramarine different colors. I want a little bit more unique customization like chest plates having the correct symbols engraved wolf fur or some scales for space wolves or salamanders, etc. You and me both. I think a lot of us agree that we want to see customization to be expanded upon like infinitely because what is here already is just fantastic in my opinion and they just need to keep going with it and building upon it. But yeah, uh, let's do one more here. We have this one right here. The shield Minoris for Chaos just needs their shields to break when you perform a heavy attack or something. Yes, dude, it is so frustrating facing off against those guys sometimes. You have no idea. There needs to be far more feedback with a heavy attack with them. Totally agree. Would love to see that sort of thing. But anyway, there it is. The latest happenings once again about all things Space Marine 2. I have you guys covered. And uh, yeah, let's see when this brand new major update, as they are calling it, will be dropping. I'll keep you guys in the know. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.